Well, throughout the week, we've met some interesting animals here at the fair, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, from camels to pigs, even elephants, a bird flew off our set. News side Lauren Conley now joins us with a special guest who's anxious to making some noise, Lauren. <laughs> Jen and Colin, we've got two little baby goats right here. We've got, what is it, Lily and Luna. Luna. And they were just born, right? They were born just last Sunday. And how much do they weigh? Do we know? Oh, probably five, six pounds, you think? And how much will they weigh? Well, these are boar cross goats, so they're going to weigh upwards of probably 150 pounds. Oh, wow. You would never expect it. <laughs> but they are so cute. Yeah. And, oh, except for right now. And very loud, yes. They're like little puppies, though. <laughs> yeah. Now, you guys have all sorts of animals in your petting zoo. You've got a kangaroo. What else do you have? African crested porcupine, camels, zebras, antelopes, lots of different cattle critters. All, all sorts right. of animals. And you were you were telling me a little bit that you focus on animals in agriculture. That's correct. You know, a lot of people when they think about agriculture, they think about cows and sheep and horses and goats. Well, what they don't realize is that animals are used in agriculture all over the world. Animals that we consider to be exotic are actually used as part of the nation's agriculture, depending on their location. So if you come to the uh, Hedricks around the world in one display, you can learn about their uses throughout the world. That's pretty cool. And these guys are little sweeties. <laughs> Angry. Squirmy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are located in the family fun zone. Mm -hmm. We are the, underneath the big red and white tent. All right. Great. And, oh, goodness. All right. We will send it back to you. <laughs> Somebody wants to be a star. Is that Lauren making all that noise? <laughs> or the goat? Oh, I love that. Lauren has kids.